right. What do you got for me, Spirit Guides? What's going to happen this week? <laughs> everyone and welcome back to my channel. Please like, subscribe, and turn post notifications on so you know whenever I post a video. This video I've already filmed but the footage is gone. I want to try and film it again. This video is about what I believe in. What I believe in is a big question. I believe in everything. I believe in ghosts, I believe in demons, I believe in angels, I believe in a higher power, I believe in spirit guides, I believe in so many different things like different realms, different dimensions. I believe in so many things and it's such a big question to ask. There is so many things in this world that we do not know about and we cannot fathom. I am an empath. So I feed off energies. I feel energies. Everything has an energy. Crystals, they have energies. They have different things that can help bring to you, bring you peace, bring you confidence, bring you love. I keep amethyst in my car, in my room. Amethyst is something that keeps you from not being anxious. Hey Google, what does amethyst do? On the website healthline.com, they say, instead, amethysts are said to promote serenity and calm. Those who work with crystals may use the gemstones as a way to help reduce your anxiety and perceptions of pain. Crystals are real. Energies are real. I believe in that. I feed off energies as an empath. I can feel people's emotions sometimes. If I'm at work, I get drained. I get drained. It's just one of those things that I've had to deal with all my life. I don't know if that's because I was such a devil child, is because I had to learn how to take care of my energy, not let everybody's energy affect my energy. It's just weird how things work. Like, I believe in ghosts wholeheartedly. I believe that there is a realm, like a dimension. They can see us, but we can't see them unless you are a medium or some sort of person who can see in that realm. I see some weird things sometimes. I'll see shadows. In, the, in my peripheral and I look over I'm like hmm nothing's there I hear footsteps dog footsteps downstairs but there's no dog downstairs I'll feel like something touching my back or my leg and nothing's there I get weird things I feel weird things a lot of the time and it's just like okay <laughs> You know, I get, I get weird feelings that people are watching me in my room. That probably means that my spirit guide or my guardian angel is here with me or something. So, who knows? That is what I believe in. That is what I feel. Recently, I have been getting into tarot cards. So, I bought myself... Some tarot cards I'm gonna say about a month or so ago this is the tarot um, thing that I got it was funny the last time that it, I did this video and a tarot card reading the cards came out as do not be discouraged that your computer keeps crashing stand tall and be be confident in yourself and keep going even though this keeps happening and after that my computer literally died two days after that that was insane to me honestly how it was like keep going you're going to make it you will be fine even though your computer is going to die 
I was like, holy shit. It actually told what was going to happen. So I want to do another tarot reading today of like what my week is going to look like. These cards are absolutely beautiful. The person that designed this book and tarot cards went through a whole spiritual, whole spiritual thing. And she writes it down in her book here. And this book gives you a whole overview of all of the cards that are here because i don't know all what all the cards mean still so i'm going to be reading out of this book whenever the cards pop up it's just amazing how accurate it is how it really is so first i shuffle the cards and you like say hi to your spirit guides good morning so when you are doing tarot you are asking, you are asking your spirit guides a question, and they talk to you through the cards. Once, when you shuffle, a card falls out. That is, you are having a conversation with your spirit guides, which is, I think it's so humbling and so beautiful. So I'm gonna ask. Good morning, spirit guides. Um, I have a question about how is my week going to be? What's going to happen during this week? All right, what do you got for me, dear guides? What's gonna happen this week? I got the Wheel of Fortune. I got the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Wands. So let's read in the book here of what it means. Six of Wands, here we go. Accomplishment, recognition, acknowledgement, praise, pride, and rewards. The Six of Wands is a card that celebrates you and your accomplishments. Hold your head high and feel proud of the things that you've done and the person you have become. You may soon be in for a promotion, reward, or some public recognition for your work or your accomplishments. This card indicates that you have approached your goals with strength, perseverance, and focus, and that others are taking notice. Now it is time to build your personal brand and capitalize on the fact that the world has its eyes on you in this very positive way. With achievement and praise comes with the expectation of future greatness. Get ready to step up your efforts and take things to the next level. So the Six of Wands is telling me that I am getting recognized about what I am doing. Either it's on YouTube or at work. Wheel of Fortune, where are you? There it is. Optimism, success, change in future, new beginnings, perseverance, and change. The Wheel of Fortune is a highly symbolic card that speaks of life circles, new beginnings, and aspects of luck. Tend to those things you can control with care and learn not to agonize over the ones you cannot. The four corners of the card boast representations of the zodiac, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, and Taurus. These are the four fixed signs of the zodiac representing stability amidst change. I chose to use two birds as well echoing the theme of wings, flight, and change. The birds with their beaks touching represent the loving relationships in life and remain an anchor point while the world and external elements continue to shift and spin. In a reading, the Wheel of Fortune urges you to accept the ups and downs of life with grace but not passively. You have the power to spin the wheel and remain on its upside. Be grateful when things are going well and work actively to improve things when the going gets rough. This is a hopeful card that asks you not to become discouraged when faced with adversity. It is a natural part of life and it will pass. Sometimes the Wheel of Fortune suggests external factors are influencing your life. 
Try to assess your situation honestly and examine the factors that could be causing difficulties. And this one is saying that if things get rough, keep looking up. There's going to be ups and downs, but keep looking forward and keep going even though there are difficulties. Well, it's kind of the same thing as last time, honestly. But this time, I'm being recognized for what I'm doing. What else <laughs> do we got? Like, even just, like, one card. Nothing? That's it? Ooh, that's it. That's it. Sometimes it takes a while for a card to fall out. Wow. Maybe that's all. Like, nope, that's it. Read this. Ooh. We got the five of cups. Negative thinking, grief, loss, focus on the positive. So I can already I can already say I may be attending a funeral this weekend. The five of cups is a card that signifies signifies difficulty, loss, and our inclination to focus on the bad and lose sight of all the wonderful things still standing. The owl on the card is perched on the edge of her nest. Below her, three eggs are broken and forlorn. She focuses on those broken eggs instead of tending to the two that are still intact and still need her. The Five of Cups suggests that you are having trouble letting go of the past and are focused on misfortune while leaving positive things untended. This card often reflects a person who is caught up in the past and able to move on, missing out on new opportunities. Bitter memories from the past continue to bother you and often a great deal of blame for past actions is placed on you and your inadequacies. I can't say that word. To some, it would seem that there is no way out of the situation. But tarot always shows problems on one hand and solutions on the other. It's time to forgive yourself and others. Sweep away the broken shards and move forward and new horizons. Give attention to the positive things in your life. So, the Five of Cups. I can see this as me also thinking about my past and how my last relationship was very, very toxic. I do always go back to that and I always think about that and it's really not good for my mental health and it makes me anxious and sad and I think it's telling me to let go of that and move forward. So. That is my reading for the week, and that is what I believe in. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope it gave you some insight on me and what I believe in and what I think and what I feel. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.